Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of my money making guide. In this episode, we're going to go over some very odd money making methods. I'm going to put two together in one video because they're not that in depth uh, and you don't need to know much behind them. But we're going to go over ways that they can make money. Now, the first one, it will make like a mil or so, maybe 1.5 mil per hour. And it is very, very random. It is regarding um, anti-dragon shields. Anti-dragon shields is something you get during the Dragon Slayer quest and you get it from Duke Horatio. So you would need to start and get to the point where you do get the shield in the quest to be able to do this. And yeah, that is basically the money making method. You can actually get a shield from, from the Duke and they do sell for a price of 2.6k each. Now this would probably be because of some form of invention components where, they, um, where they're needed. But what you can do is once you've looted it, just drop it onto the floor and you're able to get to another one. Due to how the chat box is, I think that if you've not completed the Dragon Slayer quest, you will need to drop them on the floor. Which is not too big of a problem. Um, it won't really be life or death. Because I've completed it, I can just sit here and spam and ask for more as well. Which, yeah, fair enough, okay. Don't get me wrong, it is a little bit tedious. But uh, once you get the hang of it and you know what to click where, um, I'm just clicking one once the option comes up. And after that, it's just spacebar. So it is something you'll get used to after doing it for a little while. But every time I'm doing this, I'm actually getting 2.5k into my invo. And just for something like going through chat boxes, it actually isn't too bad. Obviously, this isn't something you'd want to be doing all the time for money. This would be something like if you really needed to make money to start with, or if you needed to get just a little bit of a cash stack, do this um, if you have got the requirements, of course, because it will um, give you some money quite quick. Uh, but you don't want to be doing it because there are better things around. Now, if you wanted to know which methods are better to do than this, by all means, look through my other money making guides. I'm making plenty based around both skills, collecting and processing, which will make you a lot of money um, pretty, pretty quick. It's all got varying degrees and um, the much higher per hour stuff uh, due to higher levels. But this one is quite a chill. So finishing the last one probably took two, three minutes. So that's 70k, which to be fair, is, I was surprised how smooth that was. That wasn't too bad. And to be fair, the anti drag shield is always and will always be a classic. They actually did a decent job of dating this. I was a bit worried that when they did update it, they'd do the traditional, like, make it a bit too gimmicky. Although that, that looks pretty good. I rate that. Although the, the original one will be a forever timeless classic. That actually isn't too bad. Actually looks pretty cool. Um, just make sure that these do sell. I'm pretty sure that they're this price because of something related to invention. Which, whenever you're buying stuff from a shop or something like that, that will be the reason. So yeah, they went for mid. Quite pleasantly surprised about that. Um, that is not too bad at all. So, for the next method, I will just need to grab that. We are going to go to Fort for Infantry because I do have a furnace and anvil there. Turns out it's your lucky day and we're actually going to do free money making methods. Uh, there was something else I forgot about and going to the bank, I've just seen what it was. So, obviously, Fort for Infantry, um, you can, once you've got tier three of the workshop, which is the one I would force through first, you can pretty much do anything. Um, so, I need to deposit those bars. Okay, so a price of a silver bar is 1.6k, and what we're going to be doing is making silver sickles. Now, you can pretty much just sit here and make a full invert once. Um, it's something nice and AFK, and the price of a silver sickle is actually 3.9k. So in terms of profit, you're making 2.3k per silver sickle. It's not too high on the um, requirement level. In terms of making this, you just need 18 crafting, partial completion of the Nage Spirit to where you need to find the sickle, and um, also a silver bar. A silver bar at a minute is not too much, it's only 1.6k, so there actually is some serious profit to do this in low level crafting as well. So as always, just go into the Grand Exchange just to make sure that we do sell, and then we will go on to our next method. As always, when we get to the big moment, they never do. So we get time a little bit lower. But yeah, I'd leave them in the G for that. Um, I did buy one earlier on for a quest, there we go. So three, just under, just under mid that was, so 3.7k. Had to buy the bar just under 2k, so you're looking at 1700 coins profit there. I didn't check the margin, and it might be something that sells slow over time as well. Like this, these raw uh, wild pies actually are 29k mid, but if you set your price out nice and early uh, and you hold to it and it's something low volume, you can make a decent bit of money as well. The last money making method in this video is going to be regarding making ultra compost. Now, to do this, you're going to need to buy some Infernus Pyroclasts. 500 limit per four hours and you do want to buy a okay, case so it's nice to have a stock earlier on so this is going to make some ultra compost now i've already done the process where i made the ultra compost so making this takes 28 hours so it can take a little time to get to the area we need to we need to use our mystical sand seed now these only cost 10k each and i highly recommend buying one 
because the teleport is so efficient to getting where we want to. And don't get me wrong, you can do this in any compost, but this one takes me directly there. So basically what you can do, once you've got your thousand pyroglass noted, you can just throw it into the compost bin. And after 28 hours, you are then able to harvest your ultra compost. So roughly for the pyroglass, you're probably looking about 800k is what you want to spend on it. And then once that is sorted, you want to grab your buckets. And this was a brilliant update in terms of helping farming out. Compost was something you needed, but it was always quite tedious. So you can store up to 1000 compost. Because we put a thousand pyroglass in, noted. You didn't need to do it one by one, it was noted. Um, it's all stored in the compost. So now I can just do that. And then yeah, don't get me wrong, it's gonna take about 20 minutes to harvest it all, but you're going to be making four mil profit. It's something you'll be guaranteed and you'll make while you're logged out. The timer does go on once you're logged out as well. So 28 hours, you'll have 1,000 compost ready to harvest. Now with the shop over here in the droid camp in Al Gahid, once you've got the crux favor, you can actually unlock buckets all the way down where you actually don't need buckets to remove compost from a compost bin. But if you don't, you can still use buckets. It'll take roughly 15 to 20 minutes and you'll make four millish from that as well. So that's Something you can do daily. Um, it doesn't mean you have to do it all the time, maybe just whenever you wanted to. But if you're a lower level wanting to make some money as well, but if you're a lower level, there's no real um, levels needed to make compost. But you can do it as a way to make some money from farming. Also as well, you can do it so you can prevent buying your own and you can buy cheap compost as well to make even more profit on them herbs. So those are free money making methods which are a bit lesser known and not really utilized as much. But it's something you can look at doing in the future as well. In terms of the methods, the anti-shields are very, very nice uh, to start on the account and get the account going. The silver sickles, as you can see, have just sold. So we've made about 1.3k profit there. That's a very good way to do some low-level crafting XP and make money at the same time. Very decent money from crafting, as always. The Inferno Power Class is something I would do whenever I had it available. It's just free money, especially on a low account. It does buy. Again, it just takes a little while to, but it will always buy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed those free little money making methods. If you've got any more suggestions, please leave it in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.